Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another episode. Like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go check out our Patreon page and our mates club at sailingcadelpa.com. This episode, we're in Ambon. Let's go see what we get up to. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. Hey, we're going up the mountain to plant trees today. How's it going, Nisha? The community name is Lebebai in the back. Oh yeah, take it off. Ah, uh, that is uh, Lebebai, it means much better. Much better. Yeah. Making the planet much better. This is Kasia, Nico's daughter. She created the Lebian Bay community here in Ambon. This community helps bring awareness to the environment, like planting trees, picking up rubbish, and keeping the oceans clean. They're doing great things. And it's awesome to see all these kids wanting to help. Today, we're heading up to help plant trees. So we're going walking to plant some trees. the students to make their documentary film. Oh, okay, yeah, so cool. their documentary film about Keisha's uh, activity. Yeah. So they come today for oh, wow. making yeah. some uh, video. Uh, video. Nice. Yeah. My team. <laughs> So today we're up the mountain with the Lever Bay community and uh, we've been planting clove and nutmeg trees and um, they're doing beautiful things here in Ambon, keeping Ambon beautiful, planting trees and yeah, it's been a fun day, it's been really cool. So the kids are up there with the other kids, getting lots of selfies. Is Nico? Hello! <laughs> and Marie! <laughs> So we are, it's nice to be here again with our friends. It's been three years since we've been here, so it's been really good to catch up. That was intense. I fell in a hole. <laughs> Trees are planted and we're heading back down the mountain. Hey. What behind us dug out these steps have made it easier for us to come down Long way. A little goes along. 
We've been up the mountain, now we're going to go to the beach and pick up some rubbish. Have a swim. On our way to our next anchorage, we're in 200 metres of water and decided to stop at a fad. A fad is a fish attracting device that the Indonesian fishermen anchor in the middle of nowhere, around 200 metres in the water. They hang palm fronds, ropes, leaves and a variety of different things over to attract all different types of fish like mahi-mahi, wahoo and rainbow runners. Mum, Liam and I decided to jump in and try have a spear, but the current was racing. I hit one fish but it didn't go all the way through and we didn't see many fish from then on. So we decided to go back to the boat and check out a couple other fads. We had no luck. What are we about to do? Go under a bridge where we were stuck for a long time, so I'm a little bit like feel sick in the tummy going under here. But all we're gonna do is get to the Passar and get some veggies and get out of here. <laughs> so like Lee said, we are going under the bridge. Uh, we were stuck in Ambon three years ago for six weeks. And um, 
we've been here for a few days now. We're on the other side and we're just coming into here to get to town. It was a little bit rolly over there, so we've come in here just for the day, hopefully a day or two, and then we'll be on our way again. But coming back in here is making me have anxiety. I don't want to be stuck here again. It's so close to Raja Ampat. We're um, two, 250 nautical miles away from Masul, so we're hoping to head off in the next couple of days. But yes, yeah, like Lee said, we're about to go under the bridge that we came under three years ago. Ronnie's house. Uh, this is going to be a cafe. He's building it. And we're having dinner here tonight. It's, a, it's Ramadan, so they've fasted all day, and uh, now we're going to eat with them. So. Young uh, water, young coconut, and mix with young coconut and uh, some. Uh, papaya. papaya and yeah. avocado. Oh. So you can try it. Mm -hmm. You can try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when, uh, usually afternoon, Pardon? they eat this one, eat one, eat one. Eat one. Bananas with uh, what's it? <laughs> Really good. I don't know what this is, but it's really nice. <laughs> By the time we get back from Raja Rumput, um, this restaurant should be finished and we'll um, be standing right here and it'll be completely different. It's like all spots in Asia, Ambon, it's no different to any others. You spend a little bit of time, hunt around, you'll find what you need. There's plenty of little shops, there's markets, for instance, on our way to Raja we needed to um, get a lot of ropes for stern and bow tying and it was so cheap and it's what the local fishermen use on all their fads so it's readily available there's shops like bob motor which is uh he has a lot of honda and uh yamaha and outboards to bits and pieces to filters so there's a good range of bits and pieces there before you head up i'm not saying it's amazing but you'll get what you need to get through uh, we did it was a good little stop good little provisioning from food to spares to you name it. Successful run, we got everything we need. Job done. Great little shop, Bob Motor. All right, so we're just getting ready for Raj Rumput and uh, just brought 200 meters of line for tying up to the rocks. Some ropes, boys over here helping. Oh, it's hot. So we've got another four lines of uh, 55 meters each to tie to with the rocks, so we'll see how these little ropes go. There you have it, ropes ready for Raja. Terimakasi! We did a lot of provisioning in Ambon for our next journey up to Raja Rampa, West Papua.
So we're just at the supermarket doing our final runs before we leave M1 and we had to ride ramp up and we're stocking right up. So just come to the shop and it's about, I think we spent 500 bucks on stuff. We've got two more shops in the markets to go. We're getting your groceries and everything when you live on a boat. It's a little bit challenging sometimes. <laughs> so you don't just rock up to your house, pull in the driveway and go inside. You gotta usually get transport, then walk all the way to a jetty or wherever you've left your tender and then you've gotta get you into the tender and then you gotta drive all the way to the boat and then you gotta get all the stuff out of the tender and into the boat. That makes it sound hard. <laughs> so how do you get the food in there? Wow, wow. This is where the tender is today <laughs> and this is where our food is. Tide We're just going to throw it all down and Maddie's going to catch it. <laughs> it's dropped out, so... So yeah, sometimes weight life is a little bit more challenging than you than you think. Then the postcard, hey? Yes. <laughs> it's definitely not the postcard. <laughs> Buy a yacht, they say. It'll be fun, they say. <laughs> it tests you. <laughs> it's worth it. It is. It's worth it. <laughs> It only breaks you a couple of times a month, guys. <laughs> uh, let's record it. I think it's actually <laughs> once a week. <laughs> <laughs> once a day. <laughs> the rest of the day, though. So we passed all the bags down. Um, Lee's going to pass us down now. So here we go. We're going in for round two. One provision lot done. We'll go in and get some more. The next day the parents went into town to the fresh markets in Ambon. They're really good, you can get almost everything you want. So many bananas! Honey, can you just bring these all back to the boat please? Banana. Yeah, banana. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Banana. 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 The mule they call me. Like a, um, it's um, I don't know, it's not bad. Thanks, Dad, for that awesome description. to say goodbye to all our friends we've met in Ambon and come to see. See you next time guys. Oh my God. Yeah.
Bye-bye, Mrs. Sarah. Thank you for having us and taking us places. Thank you for taking us places. Bye, we'll see you soon. <laughs> See you again. Bye. 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 Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Join us next time as we head to Rajarampa.